This is just chaos. And I, I'm sorry, people, but if you came from someplace that that was what you experienced, that you liked it and you thought it was good and that people actually own their property and can do what they want with them, I'm sorry. I didn't come from that. I've been a Texan my entire life. We don't have that privilege. This is the Leon Valley, Texas Planning and Zoning Commission. At issue is whether residents should be able to build carports closer to the street on their own property so they can protect their vehicles from thunderstorm damage. Alternatively, should they protect Karens from the distress of having to look at the chaos of freedom? Many of the fan favorite characters are on this committee. Larry Prophet had this to say. It's been my experience the last two months, three months, that one individual, and probably they're different every individuals every time, wants some sort of special rule or dispensation that overturns and, and does not look at what the community is. It's been there for 40 years. It's been there for 50 years in my case. And to let everybody put these ad hoc structures up just because they think it's a good idea. I don't believe in an opening it up even for one person on an exception. This is just chaos. And I, I'm sorry, people, but if you came from someplace that that was what you experienced, that you liked it and you thought it was good and that people actually own their property and can do what they want with them, I'm sorry. I didn't come from that. I've been a Texan my entire life. We don't have that privilege. Some people in government think we do. Some people in the private sector think we do. We don't. City governments have to be responsible to the community. This is a community responsibility. This is the architecture. This is the layout. This is how Leon Valley is known. These are how our property prices are priced. And we start throwing up junk cars, which if you look around Leon Valley, that's what carports are used for, if not junk storage. So at least we've been able to preserve the front yard. I've actually called in stuff on people who had lawnmowers broken down and junk cars and trailers and everything else in their backyard. You couldn't even walk out there. Okay, that's just me. I feel the same way about the 90 houses. I think it's preposterous to impose that on a community. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, a guy wants a carport now? Did he think about that? Did he check the regulations when he moved here? Or is he just going to beg forgiveness? Well, I'm out of mea culpas. I don't want any. I want it to stay the way it is. And people, in my mind, rely on us to make the decision about what the standards are. And everybody can't go around making their standards. They can't change the standards so they can get elected. I'm tired of that, too. So if anybody made that promise, I'm sorry, you're off base. That's all I have to say. This is a nay vote for me. No second here. I'm not fond of carports. <laughs> Once again, my name is Jesse Lajos, and I was the one that um, was requesting the carports. And I've been a citizen of Leon Valley probably off and on 50 years before I went in the Navy. But um, it's just the it was just the, the hail damage that tore up my truck, my other truck, that uh, got me concerned. And I was just wanting to protect my truck. Right now, I'm at the 35 feet, and I just was hoping to get another five feet to cover most of my truck. And so I started this back in May, asking them. And uh, in August, they finally said to go ahead and and uh, look forward and you know, look into this. So um, it was kind of pushed off the shelf wasn't followed through. But my question is this. I didn't realize, I guess there's a lot I don't know, so I apologize, but like the setback and for all these other people, I didn't know that they would all be included. 
I could see it for single families, maybe the two families, multiple families, but I didn't realize we're looking at uh, like residential estates, 50 foot to 15. I mean, I wouldn't like that. So what I'm saying is, you know, all I was looking for was trying to gain another five or 10 feet. And that's why they came up with 15 feet set back, which would give me more than enough cover. But I, what I don't understand is when they did this, why the single family dwelling wasn't at least 20 feet to match the two families and multiple families instead of the 25. But uh, as far as that, that goes, you make it sound like carports are going to be going up all over the place. As it is, carports can still be built. There's no stopping them. You, you, get, you at least got, I can, you can at least go 10 feet on mine. So if this doesn't, if this doesn't pan out where I can get my 20 feet or even 15 feet, then I'm going to have to build it 10 feet by 20. And it's, it, there's nothing to stop me from doing that. Two wrongs don't make a right. Excuse me. Why would you build it Can't, 10 feet? To protect most of my truck. And probably other people would build it to cover sorry. stuff up. I'm sorry. It's sorry. It's citizens to be heard, so. I'm just trying to protect my truck from the hail damage. And it usually comes around April. And uh, I was very fortunate this last year because I took hail damage. And I don't know how. I, I thought I was going to wake up sick. But my truck wasn't damaged. I guess this hill was, was smaller. But I was very fortunate, and that's what scared me. That's what I came forth trying to protect what I've got. But anyway, I didn't realize, you know, like she's saying that, like like the dwellings, I mean, I've never seen anybody do that. But, I mean, I, you know, you, you could do that as far as building your house out on, on, this, on this ordinance. I wasn't looking for that. I was just looking for carports, period. But... Anyway, your mind's pretty much made up, and all I can do is ask you to look into carports, and I'm not looking for all that change in there, those single-family dwelling, but if we could just make that to 20 feet to match what you have on the R1 for residential, and, uh, or R2, rather, and, and R3, that's probably where we should have at least been. Worry about the flooding and stuff. I think the carport would probably protect most of that because you're going to have gutters that are going to get, catch more water to go into to your lawn as opposed to just not having it there and just falling on the, on the asphalt and just coming back. That's 20 feet uh, of water you're saving. What do you think? Should Texans be able to do what they want on their private property or should Municipal Nanny micromanage our lives? I still want to register my objection to overturning everything in the last couple or three months that somebody just wants to do it. You know, I mean, some of the ideas have been good. No, Other, I have others one of yet. the ideas we've had some objections to across the board. Yes, I have to say across the board. Okay, so I just think we're you know contorting everything. Okay, to do this one thing for one residential district for one customer who's a great resident of Leon Valley. So we have but this just sets to me the president we have tried to avoid on this commission for so many years. We're okay. violating it. We're throwing it right out. Okay. So we so have you want to vote vote. Do you still suggest your twenty now that you know a setback is a setback? Yes. For everything? Okay. So we have one suggestion to change R one to twenty and touch nothing else. Yeah, why can't we do that? Like, we can. Like, why do we need I'm to just, redo? Well, I'm just what listing. The, I'm, right now, I'm just listing the suggestions we've had. So we've had a suggestion to change R1 only to 25 and don't touch anything else. We've to had 20. a suggestion to do nothing, keep it the same, and we've had a suggestion to just reword the top so that anyone except for in the residential estate district can put a carport, porch, or patio, but not closer than 15 feet to the property line. Are there other suggestions, or did you want to do a simple vote to figure out a motion, or does somebody just want to make a motion mm -hmm. and see if it fails or passes? Mr. Krampos. I make the motion that we deny any changes to what we currently have. Okay. Second. We have a motion and a second to change nothing. Um, did we want a roll call vote this? Yeah. Okay. Can we do a roll call vote, please, Christina? 
Chair Catherine Rouse? No. Sherry Fowl? Nay. Larry Prophet? What do we, which way we vote? If you vote, if you vote aye, you're saying change nothing. If you vote no, you have a different suggestion. Aye. Oh, I'm sorry, Edward Alonzo? Aye. Evan Bull? Nay. Philip Campos? Aye. Richard Blackmore? Aye. Drew, sorry, I apologize. He's not voting. He's not voting. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so did it pass or I don't know. I can't. That was that was four to three. So four to three, that motion passes to change nothing. Oh it passed? Yes. Okay. Did four of us vote for it? Yes. Oh, it was okay. it's Commissioner Campos and you. And Mr. 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 Yeah. Mr. Blackmore. Okay. So that concludes that item then. That will move on to city council. They will do with it what they will. There you have it. The Leon Valley Karen say no. You can't protect your truck in Leon Valley. These board members are selected and appointed by the city council. Please like, share, and comment to help these videos reach more people. Thank you, Barry, for sharing this video with me.